Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. September 22nd, 2022. Look at all them beautiful tubes today. It would have been better if it was Tuesday. The 27th. But anyways, it was the 20th, which was pretty good, too. I'm the Drunk Folk Group. Tis beer time. How you doing? It got cold fast. Hope my pals out on the East Coast, you guys stay safe out there. That looks like a... That's a big storm. I hope you got storm chips and beer for, for like, a while. Just be safe, please. Uh, Polk loves you. Anyways, let's get into a beer we found at the LCBO, and then I'm going to get into another beer from a friend of mine. We're trying to clean out this bloody fridge. Because the man's got too much beer. So we're just going to work through it. We're just going to... just somebody's It's a dirty job, and somebody's got to do it. Let's get into it from Blackburn Brewhouse in uh, Niagara Falls there. Comes Crickwater IPA, six point six percent. They even list the forty-five IBUs. I, I've heard good things about Blackburn. Uh, my buddy Donnie lives out that way now, so I maybe have to go check him out. I saw this at the LC, and I'm like, I could drink an IPA. It's billed as an American-style IPA, which means probably leaning into the bitter. Um, usually, American-style means more bitter. If, you're, if it's going to be soft and pillowy, it's usually built as Vermont-style or New England-style. Generally, in, in my experience, is it day 2500? I don't even know. I think it's day 2500. Maybe. Maybe it's there tomorrow. Who knows? I'll check after this and put it in the next video if it is. But anyways, let's have some beers. Cheers, my friends. It's the first time in three weeks I haven't had a Lone Pine as my first beer. It's weird. It's still an IPA, though. Um, that's, that's, that's all right. It's nice. Uh, good body. It definitely does lean. It's not, I wouldn't call it a West Coast IPA. It's more of like that middle of the road kind of IPA where you, you, they're trying to achieve that juiciness, but also you're getting like this orange mango kind of a piney bit on the back, pithy, dry and bitter, very dry for an IPA, which is fine because that's good too, right? You want that bitterness to shine. Yeah. Uh, it's a good IPA. Yeah. See, here's the problem. If I don't rave about it, well, I didn't like it. No, I like it just fine. It's a fine IPA. It's an LCBO IPA, too, right? And sometimes not always the best kept. This seems to have held on to all this flavor. I like it. it it's, of course, it's more my style, too. It's more bitter than that soft stuff, which I enjoy. I enjoy them both, too. That's the weird part, right? So it's not like I don't love them. I drink them all the time. I'm going to give them my choice. My go-to is always more bitter and toastier. Right? I think that would be it. But that's good. Check it out your local LCBO. If you like IPAs, give her a shot because of uh, Crick Water. Right? I'm here in Stony Creek and the Crick Water. Well, let's get after it, my friends. Cheers. Like, why is it so cold? Like, fine. It's almost time to work downstairs again. All right, let's go. 